A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain important MCQs in power system. Problem number 1. The commercial sources of energy are fossil fuels, water and radioactive substance, B. Solar, wind and biomass, C. Wood, animal waste and agricultural waste, D. None of the above. The option number B and C both are renewable energy sources. And the first one is the correct one, fossil fuel, water and radioactive substance. Next problem, which of the following power plant is the least reliable? Wind, tidal, geothermal and solar. Wind power is not steady and unreliable. So the least reliable power plant is wind power plant. Problem 3. Which of the following methods of generating electric power from sea water is more advantageous? Ocean currents, wave power, tidal power, none of the above. The answer is tidal power. 4. What is the total power install capacity in India? A. 125,000 megawatt, B. 175,000 megawatt, C. 200,000 megawatt, D. 50,000 megawatt. The answer is, in the year 2007, the generated power is 125,000 megawatt. But in the year 2015, the generated power is 2000, sorry, 2,75,000 megawatt. But the answer given is for the year 2007 that is 125,000 megawatt or 1,25,000 megawatt. Problem 5. The power development programs that are possible in Tamil Nadu are largely based on steam power plant, hydroelectric power plant, nuclear power plant, diesel power plant. Coal resources are already exhausted and water is limited. So for that reason, which one is possible? Nuclear power plant is possible. Next, the power output from the hydroelectric power plant depends on head, type of dam and discharge, head, discharge and efficiency of the system, third, type of draft tube, type of turbine and efficiency of the system, D. Type of dam, discharge and type of catchment area. The answer is power developed is 0 0.736 divided by 75 W Q H into eta. So power developed is primarily based upon eta is efficiency, H is the head and Q is the discharge. Head discharge and efficiency of the system. Option B is correct. Then 7. What is the correct expression for the electric power developed by a hydroelectric power plant in kilowatt? The same answer that is 0 0.736 divided by 75 into W Q H into eta. Next 8. Taking the density of the water to be 1000 kg per meter cube, how much power would be developed by the hydroelectric generator unit assuming 100% efficiency with 1 meter head and 1 meter cube per second discharge? The formula is P is equal to 0 0.736 divided by 75 W Q H into eta. 0.736 divided by 75, what is the density of the water? 1000 kg per meter cube and then what is discharge? 1, height equal to head, head is equal to 1, eta is what? 100 divided by 100, so 100 divided by 100 is 1. Now I have to multiply uh, 0 0.736 with 100, uh, sorry 1000, that is 736 divided by 75, the answer is 9.80 kilowatt. So the option C is correct. Next, 
if the power p available from a hydro scheme is given by the formula p is equal to 9.81 q into h where q is the flow rate through the turbine in liter per second and h is the head in meter then p will be in unit of watt option a is correct 11 if the discharge 1 meter cube per second and head of water is 1 meter then the power generated by the alternator in 1 hour assume 100% of the efficiency of generator and turbine will be the equation is p is equal to 0.736 divided by 75 what is w w equal to 1000 and what is q q is 1 and what is h h is 1 and efficiency also 1 so it is answer 736 divided by 75 kilowatt so option c is the correct next question number 12 the utilizable water from a catchment is 60 into 10 power 6 cubic meter annually and the hydroelectric station has head of 40 meter assuming ideal generator and turbine the power that can be theoretically generated is so first of all we are going to find out the discharge q in meter cube per second okay cubic meter annually is given so we are going to find out meter cube per second so q is equal to 60 into 10 power 6 the whole divided by we are 365 days into 24 into 60 into 60 Each day we are having 3,600 second. So what is the answer? That is 1.9026 meter cube per second. After getting this, we are going to find out the power. So what is the power formula? 0.736 divided by 75 into W. That is 1,000. And W then H. What is h? h is equal to 40. And what is the efficiency? Efficiency is 1. Then what is q? 1.9026. Multiply all the values, we get 746.8 kilowatt or otherwise 750 kilowatt is the answer for this problem. Next question. A hydroelectric power station is commonly found in desert areas, hilly areas, grassland swamps. Normally found in hilly areas. Next, in hydroelectric power plant, operating cost is low and initial cost is high. Second, operating cost is high and initial cost is low. And third, operating cost is low. cost as well as initial cost are high both operating cost as well as initial cost are low the answer is operating cost is low but the initial cost is high because the construction of dam and uh, accessories they will require more cost so initial cost is high but operating cost is low 14a Next 15, the advantage of hydroelectric power station over thermal power station is the operating cost of hydroelectric power station is low. That is the correct answer. Next, the largest size of hydroelectric unit in India is 165 megawatt is the correct answer. 17 cross head of hydroelectric power station is the difference between a uh, difference of water level between the level in the storage and tail race b the height of water level in river where the tail race is provided c the height of water level in river where storage is provided d all of the above The first option is correct. The difference of water level between level in the storage and tail race. Next, with reference to hydro power station, the graphical representation of the discharge as a function of time is known as monograph, hectograph, low duration curve, hydrograph. Hydrograph that gives the relation between time and the discharge Q. 19 the hydrograph indicates the discharge at any time during the period under consideration 
the maximum and minimum runoff during the period the average runoff during the period three are correct the answer is all of the above next hydro graph is similar to low duration curve mass curve energy load curve chronological load curve chronological load curve is a correct answer next 21 the factors affecting the runoff are rainfall pattern shape and size of catchment area b the topography and nature of soil in the catchment area c the amount of vegetation weather condition in the catchment area c d all of the above so the factors affecting runoff rate all of the above d is the correct 22 the flow duration curve at a given head of hydro power electric power plant is used to determine total power available at the site total unit of energy available load power factor at the plant diversity factor for the plant the answer is total power available at the site next 23 the area under flow duration curve represents total unit of energy available total power available at the site total quantity of runoff during that period maximum rate of runoff during that period the answer is total quantity of runoff during that period next a mass curve can be plotted from low duration curve chronological load curve energy load curve both low duration curve and chronological load curve the answer is mass curve can be plotted from chronological load curve 25 storage requirement can be determined from hydrograph flow duration curve mass curve either by hydrograph or by mass curve both are correct so option d is the correct answer thank you have a nice day